So I just finished eating. He's been um, he's been pulling a dew actually, quite actually yes. Um, don't turn it off, please. You have a habit of doing that with your tongue, yes. Um, my my hands are frozen right now. I have chicken skin or whatever you want to call it, goosebumps, because there's an anxiety attack coming on. Um. And um, he's been, the minute I got in bed, he laid down on my legs, and then I ate, <clears throat> and then now he's, he's being pushy, like, he had me in a very compromising position yesterday where his butt was above my head, and I was under his body, it was just like, hey bro, no, anyway, so, being a good boy he's he's being he's never <laughs> he's never quite reacted this strongly to um uh sensing an attack coming on it's probably here right now but um very very protective right now very um in my face literally people ask well why do you need you know a service dog for your anxiety this is why so when this stuff happens when um when i'm in a grocery store or in the car or whatever this is why i need him so mini rant to those who don't think that anxiety is such a big deal or um that dirty dogs or whatever should be allowed in stores because they're not quote unquote true service dogs this is why we need them right now he's grounding me um when um the hornet or wasp or whatever the heck it is he he's shaking it's okay but when it was happening he was trying to find the source to, and he was he he literally put it himself between me and my being able to reach the light the hornet was on so you see it's almost like he's taking I don't know if you can see it. It's almost like he's taking my anxiety on him. And do would do this. With me. And strangers too. Yeah, I miss him, but... I got Junior Chicken Nugget here. Hmm? Yeah. Sorry about the meltdown. If I tried to move him, I wouldn't be able to. He's like a dead weight right now. You know how they say a human who um, is trying to... How does it work? Be stiff or whatever is, is harder to manage and heavier or whatever that's what he, I wouldn't be able to move him he's he's he probably weighs 200 pounds right now like jeez oh, so I took my meds which I can do because I'm at home when I'm on the road or at the store I can't take my meds because they they make me sleepy and I will not drive um under influence i don't drink or do drugs but it would be considered that i'm assuming but i'm not all there if you will after i take them once they, they kick in so next time someone 
has an anxiety attack or just starts mashing their hands together or quote unquote wiping their, their hands on their hair or just starts pacing and whatnot. Be kind. Because we're all fighting a battle and a lot of times people will, will just be well just deal with it kind of thing right we're trying trust me we're trying but it gets away from you and this is where these guys come in and it doesn't have to be a dog it can be a cat it can be a snake mind you I don't think a snake would be allowed in the grocery store but <laughs> bird um there's other critters that have that bond with their owner and i've noticed that since i was really sick this weekend um i think we bonded even more than we are bonded which is kind of hard to imagine <laughs> So, just trying to explain the plight of people who, who need to use these dogs or animals and need to do so in the public environment. <clears throat> this is why we need them. Because having a human there saying, oh, it's okay, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay, you know, just breathe, just breathe, just try not to think about it. That doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's, it's nice, it's appreciated, but it doesn't work. Animals have a different way of dealing with emotions. And, um, He's, he's learning big time. He's, he's done a lot of interesting, strange, new things this weekend. And he's even been able to sense, um, I get these, these chill attacks where I'm, I'm so cold it feels like my bones, my, my bone marrow is made of ice. I can't warm up. And this can last anywhere from 10 minutes to hours. And it's it's painful because you you have these spasms that just ugh, it's it's crazy, and I've always been told it's in my head until my ex roomie when they tried saw me in when I was when this was happening, and he held me and he was a big guy like he was like uh, five eleven, two hundred some pounds. And he was shaking, I was shaking so hard. So, it's, it's, I've never got an answer as to what it is. I'm not looking for an answer, I just know it happens and it's a pain in the butt when it happens. But he knew it was coming and he herded me back to bed and couldn't get on top of me fast enough. Kind of like to warm me up. And then it hit like a freaking bulldozer, man. It was just like. Sometimes I can feel it coming, but sometimes, get it, you know, it just hits you like a ton of bricks. So, all this rambling to say, you know, be kind to people who have need for these types of dogs, animals. And uh, just because a vis a disability is not visible, doesn't mean it's any less of a disability. I only hope that by posting this, it's going to help someone. Why are you licking the blanket? You weirdo. You're a bony weirdo. Yes. So I hope you all have a good night. Oh, man.
I don't know yet if it's if it's done or not. I can't. This mud. Hey, uh, do you mind? I know what he wants. You want two? Come and lay down under the blankets. Is that what you want? Compromising position. Okay, doofus. Turn on. Turn on. I don't have a weighted blanket. I wish I had one. But he's my weighted blanket. <laughs> if ever I get a weighted blanket, I hope it doesn't come with a tongue. Okay, because he's dangerous with that thing. I'm very grateful for this guy.